So uh, I, I get here at 8 o'clock every morning, um, get things all settled down with whatever student employees there with me in the morning, uh, get my coffee, and, and watch the union kind of come to life. Uh, mornings are always fun because you've, you've got like a big line of caribou coffee, and then other than that, it's kind of dead. Maybe uh, you see a couple students trying to sprint into the bookstore to try to get a Scantron because they forgot to buy them the day before for their test. Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, get in there and start saying hello to people, uh, catching up with whoever's strolling through in the mornings. Um, it's kind of hit or miss these days. I really like to be involved in things all around campus. So I'm in meetings here and there and everywhere, You know, whether it's over in Gallagher Iba or uh, Whitehurst or somewhere in this building, uh, trying to make sure things are going well for uh, the students, wherever. Um, yeah, I don't know. This position and like, <laughs> trying to like put it all together is bad. For football, I, depending on what time the game is, I usually get there uh, five hours or so before. Um, like to get things, uh, like run through the script again and make sure I've got things ready for the game. Um, and then I get to go out on Pete's Gator and drive around at tailgates and give away free stuff. Uh, mingle with some of the fans and, and just kind of have a good time. All the sports kind of make for a long day. I guess football not as much since it's on the weekends, but you know, basketball's on weeknights. Uh, baseball, you get a lot of weekday games. A typical day for baseball, you know, I come in, I work. Um, if the game's like a four o'clock, you know, I'll typically bounce out of here around 2.45, get over there and get my scripts all together and starting lineups down and, and get to reading at, by 3.30. So, uh, you know, then the game's over maybe seven or so. Like I said, it kind of makes for a long day, but it's, uh, it's a good day.